God bless you. God bless you on this wonderful, on this wonderful Monday. We thank God for you. We bless his holy name. We give him all the glory and honor. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. He is an awesome God. He is worthy to be praised. There is no one like him. He deserves all the glory and honor. We thank him for all that he's been doing in our life. We thank him for blessing us, blessing us in our homes, blessing us in with our families. He's blessing us in every area of our life. Today, I want to just say a few words about about those who does, does not support us or those who don't, who don't want to lift us up. And we have to know that even, even when we, we find this situation, we find ourselves in situation where our loved ones don't support us, we have to keep going because we have to fight a good fight of faith because our God says we can do all things to him who strengthen us. This morning, I want to encourage you to do your very best. Go for what you want to go. Go for your dreams. Go for your goals. Um, don't, don't, don't stop until you get where you want to go, until you get where you want to be. Because, because we, we are in a war. We are in a war. We are, we are, we are fighting, but we are equipped as Christians. We are equipped to fight the enemies, whatever he throws in at us. We know that God is the one who's going to give us the shield to protect us. He is going to protect us in whatever situation that we may face. I pray that this week will be a week of blessing. May he shower you with love and mercies and tender mercy. May he shower you with all the blessings that comes from above. May he may he bless you with the peace that comes from above all oh, oh. Oh, how wonderful our God is. Oh, how wonderful he is. He has seen us this far in our situation where we felt that we couldn't get out. He had made a way for us. He's making a way for you in your wilderness. He's making a way for you in whatever you're going through. Right now, I just want to tell you that, you know, it's been a whole week or maybe two weeks since I, have been, I haven't been on. The reason is that I get a little discouraged, you know, I'm getting a little discouraged and I say, you know what, someone has to remind me, someone had to remind me, do not start something and don't finish it, you know, and if you're doing it for the Lord, you continue to do it. It doesn't matter who likes it, who don't like it, continue to do what you're doing for the Lord. You will have those who don't like you, who you will have those who don't share your dreams. You will have those who don't share your vision. They don't see what you see, you know, and when God bless you, you have to continue to give him all the glory and all the praises because he had taken you out of the pit that you were in. You know, he has provided for you. It is something like whenever God blesses us, we tend to forget his blessing. We tend to forget how great he is, but we have to continue to think about his love. This morning, I'm going to pray for you that God will will continue to bless you, that God will continue to open your eyes to see brand new things, you know, he will open your eyes to see what he has planned for you, you will open your eyes to see what he has in store for you, if you remain closer to him, if you remain closer to him, he will make a way for you, he will make a way for you where you see there's no way, he will make the way for you, um, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful morning. We bless your name. We give you all the glory and honor. For we know without you, we wouldn't be here. Father, we lift up our friends in your hands, Father, as they are preparing to, to start their, their week, Father. As they are preparing to, to start their week, Father, we ask that you will bless them. That you will bless them in their businesses. That you will bless them in the workplace, Father. That you will bless them in their homes, Father God. That you will bless them in their relationship that you will bless them with their children father that you will you will say a word for them father whatever situation that they're facing right now whether it be that they don't have a job father that you will provide a job for them father whether it be that where they are sick father we ask that you will heal them because we know that you are the real healer you heal every sickness and by your stripe we are healed father we thank you for what you're doing in their lives father god we 
lift them up in your hands, Father. We ask that you will have mercy on them, Father, that you will cover them with your blood that was shed on Calvary, that you will bless them in every area of their life, Father God, that you will bless their families, Lord. Father, we thank you that you are doing something new in our life, Father. We thank you that you are rewriting our story, Father. Where we made many mistakes, you are fixing it for us, Father. We thank you that you are saving us, Father God. We thank you that you are making a way for us, Lord. We thank you this morning, Father God. May fresh manna fall, fall fresh on us, Father God. May we open our heart to receive your word, Father. May we open our mind, Father, as we go to our, our day, Father. May we think of you, Father. May we dwell in your house, Father God. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Father God. We thank you for those who are facing an obstacle this morning, that you will say a word for them, Father. Father, we thank you for this morning. Thank you for reminding us, Father, that we cannot start something and not finish, Father. We thank you that this morning you'd say we are not the tail, but we are the head, Father. We are not the tail, but we are the head, Father God. We are coming out with our blessing, Father God. We are blessed in the city, Father. We are blessed in the fields, Father God. Wherever we go, blessing will follow us, Father God. Wherever we put our foot, Father, we will be blessed, Father God. You call us your children, Father God. We are your, your children, Father God. We know that you are preparing a table before us in front of our enemies, Father God. You are preparing that table for us. Father. We are relying on you this morning. May your Holy Spirit, oh Father, may your Holy Spirit guide us, Father. Guide us, Father God. We, we want you to take control, complete control of our life, Father God. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you for this morning. Thank you for your blessing. Thank you for blessing us. Oh, Father, we thank you, Father. And all that we failed to mention, Father God, may you do all, Father God. We are relying on you and we pray in Jesus' name. I hope that you will have a wonderful day. I pray that the Lord will bless you and he will shine upon you. I pray that he will shine his face upon you, that he will provide you with the miracle that you've been waiting for. Whatever you've been waiting for, today is your day for your miracle. He will open doors for you, doors that were closed in front of you. He will open them. He will make a way for you as he did before. He will do it again. He's a God of the impossible. He He's a God that does all the impossible. I pray that you will have a blessed week and have a wonderful day. And remember, he loves you. He wants to have a relationship with you. Have a blessed day. God bless you. It was a pleasure to be with you this morning. Have a blessed day.